Welcome back. Today we're trying some fun experiments from the Kitchen Pantry Scientist book. It's called Chemistry for Kids and it just came out in May. Yeah, because when you're Liz Heineke, you publish a book in the middle of a <laughs> pandemic. <laughs> it was Liz. a perfect time for it, actually. Yeah. Thanks for joining us this morning. Uh, so tell us all about this. You're making chemistry fun for us. Yeah, so these experiments are kind of cool because historical scientists did uh, projects related to them. So that's kind of what my book is about. I pair up scientists with projects related to the work they did. So the first project I'm going to do is one that Charles Darwin actually did when he was studying how eggs could have floated from South America over to the Galapagos. And Marie Curie actually did it when she was teaching her kids about science. Oh, that's and cool. All you need for this is um, two glasses of water, some salt, and two eggs. So when you increase the density of a liquid, it increases the buoyancy. So I have added a bunch of salt, like four tablespoons of salt to this glass of water. This is just regular water. So I have just raw eggs here. If I put them in the regular water, can you see how they sink? Yep. Mm -hmm. Oh, I guess it kind of got stuck in the glass, but <laughs> we get it, it sinks to the bottom. Now this is the salt water. I'm gonna add the egg to this, and you can see that the egg is less dense. Can you see how it floats to the top? Yeah, so Liz, is this the same idea that when we swim in the ocean, we float better than when we swim in the lake? Exactly, okay. so salt water is more buoyant. It's pushing, it's pushing on you, and um, that is why you can salt, or sorry, swim easily in salt water and stay, mm. stay afloat. Extra credit for Heather. On yeah. that one. Well done, like a real life application. Exactly. I like it. Um, and then Liz, I also you have something that's kind of like a lava lamp type experiment. I'm a '90s kid, yeah. so I'm all ears. So this one's for this super one. fun. You just need oil and water and Alka Seltzer tablets. Um, adult supervision required because Alka Seltzer has some aspirin in it, I believe. But um, when Alka Seltzer reacts with water, it there's a chemical reaction and it makes carbon dioxide bubbles. Um, and in the book, I talk about a chemist named Svante uh, Arrhenius who actually studied the rate of chemical reactions. So here I have cold water, mm -hmm. here I have hot water. I'm going to pour them into these bottles that have oil in them. I'll make a mess because I always do. Okay. But you can see how the oil stays on top, right? Because it's more dense than the water. Right. Or sorry, the oil is less dense than the water. So the oil stays on the top. Now. I'm gonna let these just separate out a little, but what happens is hot liquids contain more energy than cold liquids. So all the molecules in the hotter liquids are crashing together faster and more frequently, so the chemical reaction will happen faster. So I'm gonna take Alka-Seltzer and drop it in. I've got some ice cubes in here, one second. I'm gonna take some Alka-Seltzer tablets and drop them into these bottles. And we're gonna see whether the hot or cold chemical reaction starts happening faster. And you'll be able to see the carbon dioxide bubbles. Oh, there you go. We can you see, see it. In it's going. Water? Oh, yeah. You see how cold it's going in hot water? <laughs> and the cold Look water is that. barely bubbling. And you've got so your own lava lamp. It's a demonstration of how chemical reactions happen faster when it's hot. <laughs> Those are awesome. <laughs> Looks like the one I used to have next to my yeah. uh, bubble chair in my yeah. Nintendo 64. <laughs> When all those things were cool. You are a true 90s <laughs> child. Uh, Liz, we know that you're known for the kids' books, but uh, you got an adult book there for us? I'm super excited. Yeah, I, I have a book coming out in February called Radiant for adults. Um, it's, uh, about, it's about Marie Curie and an inventor dancer named Loewe Fuller. They both lived in Paris around 1900, and they were friends. So it's sort of a story about their friendship and their life, and it's so much fun to write. Oh, fun. And to, wait, when again? When is that coming out again? It's coming out in February of 2020. Sorry, 2021. But you can order it um, anywhere now. It's, it's available online. Um, and Great. I just got the galley prints, so this is what it's going to look like. Awesome. A cover pretty. <laughs> Great. Liz, congratulations. Thanks so much for joining us. Uh, you can see more of Energizer Bunny Liz's experiments at kitchenpantryscientist.com. Let us go to wccu.com links, and we will be sure to get you there.